Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so what I'm going to do today, I'll be starting a new uh, series on um, experience, user experience designer. Um, I was not actually planning to do this one, but a few people have asked me to do it, so I thought I might as well, because this is more like a business analyst kind of cert, and, I, and I'm not a business analyst, right? I'm a technical architect, but that doesn't mean that, you know, this is not useful for architects or developers. So that's exactly what I'm going to talk about today, user experience uh, designer uh, certification. Now, what I'm going to do today, right, I'll go through the uh, exam guide and, and just to give you an idea about what this course is all about um, so that if you're really interested and if you think this is something really going to excite you, then, you know, then you know that you can... Uh, continue with the course. If you think it's not something that are useful for you, then um, then if you then I would suggest you you know go look for something else, right? Um, all right. So um, so let's look at what this is all about, right? Um, so about the user experience designer credential, right? It they clearly says this is for candidates who are aspiring or experienced designers who want to build design solution on the Salesforce platform. Okay, so um, it's it's like more around the UX design, right? So if you are someone who wants to be a UX designer on the Salesforce site, uh, you know, to give you an idea about how certain solutions needs to be built, how the record page looks like, or how different aspects of the Salesforce should look like from a customer uh, point of view, um, um, not just only from a customer point of view, but from a usability and scalability point of view, right? Um, so from that perspective, you know, if this is something excites you, this is something you wanted to do, right, then I personally believe that this certification will be of great help, yeah? Um, so we're going to also look at, so this also explore, uh, this certification I also expect uh, to uh, you to have some understanding of the UX concept. Uh, that doesn't mean that if, if you're new to it, we're going to cover it anyways. But just an expectation, though, right? Once this is what they expect that if you wanted to be um, an aspiring um, uh, UX designer, then you need to have some understanding of the UX concept, right? Um, okay. So now the audience uh, design uh, usually uh, for who this certification is about. So at least they have six months of hands-on experience. Uh, that's usually the case with every Salesforce certification, though, right? Uh, because because I believe, right, you shouldn't take certification first if you're not, if you're not comfortable with that uh, set of technology. Certification is there to, uh, to gauge your knowledge on top of the experience you have, right? Um, so if you're an experienced consultant or if you're an experienced designer and you say, okay, uh, let me see uh, if I can go and take the certification to gauge my current knowledge. So for them, the certification will be highly valuable. But I'm not saying that if you don't have absolutely any experience not to go for it, but the amount of time you will take to learn will, will vary compared to someone who's experienced, right? Um, so, yeah, so what they're expecting is that, um, so these are the things you should have some idea about analysis, the business and design requirement of uh, facilitation of design strategy based on scope of user and content, Salesforce personas, which which is important, I believe, key design system and principles, mobile UX design, incorporation of human-centric design into customer service, guideline and UX design strategy for accessibility and inclusion. So when I look at this certification, right, I believe that if you are a solution architect, this certification will be of, of high value because you know, even if you're a tech architect, right, I think this certification will be of high value because <clears throat> obviously the design requirement you, you normally get into, the right? I actually get into that, so I, I can tell from my perspective. Uh, Salesforce persona, I was involved in that. Um, system design in principle, obviously I was involved in that. Mo mobile UX design, not really on the Salesforce space, but uh, I was, I have built an Xcode and Android, so so I have that experience. So yeah, it, it, it is valuable on that perspective. Um, and then different things, right? Now, when you look at, uh, from exam point of view, just some housekeeping stuff, right? We need to be wary of. Uh, the first thing first, uh, as usual, like every other Salesforce certification, uh, this will be of 60 multiple choice questions. 
and the passing score is 65, which is not so bad in my opinion. It's similar like I think the admin. Um, so the registration fees of $200, and if you fail for whatever reason, you can retake it by paying 100 USD. Right? That's that's pretty cool, right? And uh, you can take it by going to uh, you know proctored exam um, delivered centers, or you can do online like I prefer to do online right I don't like to go to centers anymore because the place where I live right uh, I, we don't have a center there I have to go to Wellington which is like two hours drive so I prefer to do it online right it saves time and yeah so that's the basic prerequisite right if you have taken other certifications you will know so I, I don't really want to get into the details of it but let, that being said let's get into the exam guidelines right which is the most um, which I would say the bread and butter for this course. All right, so uh, let me close this one, right? Then let's make it easier. So it comprises of these sections, right? Discovery, UX fundamentals, human-centered design, declarative design, testing, Salesforce, lightning design system, right? So first one, we look at the discovery aspect, which is 13%. Um, so what exactly they are after when you, in this, topic right so they expect you to have you know the following things you need to know right provided with a set of business requirement you need to identify which research uh, methodology and tool should be used to design a solution pretty interesting I think this is a really going to be a very interesting topic uh, given a scenario demonstrate how you gather requirement and plan strategy uh, given current user experience again very important in my opinion Describe a key uh, UX, uh, Salesforce UX personas um, and which process they, they normally do, right? Something we want to look at it. Given a scenario, describe how Salesforce can add value to the user experience. I personally believe discovery is a very important phase, right, uh, in Salesforce development lifecycle. Uh, so 13%, uh, it, I think it, it's a reasonable score to... Okay, then look at UX fundamentals, which is 16%. Um, so given a scenario, identify which UX method should be used to define a user experience. Not too bad, right? Because there's something I expect you know, people to know if, if they are taking this certification. So we're going to look into that. Describe the impact of corporate branding and styling. Obviously, the corporate branding and styling matters, right? And so the impact it can have, overall impact, we're going to look into that. Uh, describe key design principles and tools that define an accessible and engaging experience. It's really awesome, right? And describe the mobile UX design fundamentals. So I think UX fundamentals are going to be really exciting, right? I'm really excited when I, you know, to, to teach you guys this topic. This is really cool. Good stuff. And human-centric design, right? Okay, this is 12%. Um, though you must be wondering, right, why they've, you know, the lower down the score in, 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 in percentage scale to 12, right? It should be like 15, 16, right? I get it, right? But I think although, you know, human-centered design aspect matters, uh, but other aspects like declarative design, discovery holds a little bit of higher weightage in this certification, right? Okay, so given a scenario, determine how to incorporate human-centric design into customer solution. Uh, explain the importance of inclusive design, right? We're going to look into that. Now comes the beast, right? Declarative design. So given a scenario, describe how core Salesforce object function, how that can affect the user experience, and when to use and customize them, right? You will talk about the standard, and we're going to talk about the standard objects and, and adding extra fields, right? Sometimes, for instance, let's take an example of an account. So do you think that whatever fields that that's out of that sells for ships uh, as a part of out of box functionality will uh, deliver the necessary functionality to a customer, or do you think you wanted to add an extra fields or or perhaps a custom object we can which can be used as a lookup or master detail relationship? So that kind of discussions will fall under this category, right? Now, given a scenario, uh, describe declarative functions that improve um, information presentation, hierarchy, and architecture in static experience. Pretty cool. Given a scenario, describe declarative uh, features that improve user experience over a series of steps, which is great. Given a scenario, determine 
which global Salesforce configuration to use for optimized user flow, which is again great. So these things, you know, we're going to look into that, which is pretty cool, right? So it contains more weightage. So we're going to spend a little bit more time um, exploring these functionalities. Testing, right? The core part, 11%. Given a scenario, plain, a plan method uh, for validating and testing a design with the end user, right? So that's the first scenario. Describe testing techniques needed for optimal user experience. Given a scenario, evaluate and manage design changes. So that's something we're going to look into when we talk about testing. It's, it's an exciting topic, uh, though I understand that only can, uh, the weightage is only 11%, but that doesn't mean that you know we shouldn't be talking more about it, right? Because testing is very important, right? Okay, now Salesforce Lightning Design System, SLDS, right? 21%. Now, in this, we're going to look at what is SLDS, what is a lightning design system, what is it about, uh, given a scenario, uh, determine out-of-box design and configuration consistency, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with the look and feel of lightning experience. So lightning experience is, is the key, right? Because you're not talking about classic anymore. Classic is a legacy tech, though certain functionalities might be there in classic. Given a scenario, utilize SLDs to create a new and customized component functionality. So these are the things we're going to look, we're going to cover, and I'm going to talk about in details. So, so yeah, that's that's one of the things I'm going to talk. And then once the course is finished, uh, or um, during the course, I will prepare question and answer, which I won't be giving out for free, right? Because obviously, you know, like I'm a businessman, I can't give everything free, right? Because I need to run a company. So, but the question answer will be interesting, right? I will cover every section questions, every question sections answer. That's something I want to release for Omni Studio uh, because it's it's okay to give you know sixty questions for people to prepare, but I want it to people to understand you know individual sections very well, right? Can they answer a certain part of the section? Like for instance, can they answer question around human centered design, right? Few questions around that. Few questions about declared design. So as you go through the questions, right, you will get more understanding and you need to explore a little bit here and there, right? So that's something I, I was thinking about this year because obviously I did, uh, I released free uh, platform developer one and CPQ questions, right? Uh, but that's just the 60 questions, which is good for you. It's a free, you can go and practice it. Um, and it's going to help you in your exam, right? Especially the PD one, right? I have lots of experience in development, so I prepared in such a way that we're going to help you for sure. So the keeping that into consideration, it's just my contribution to the ecosystem. Just wanted to make sure that, you know, I up my contribution a bit, although I've been contributing for a few years. But I just think I could do a little bit more better, you know, add more value to this ecosystem, right? So, yeah. That's being said, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first topic. And from the next episode, we're going to uh, deep dive uh, into each component. And, yeah, let's let's get excited, guys, and, and let's match this. So that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Adios.